The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building. Guapi in the building. My guy, how are you doing today? What's going on, boy? How you been? Thanks for chilling, man. It's cooling, man. Staying in there, out the way. Yo, I got to ask. The shop with Guap stuff, right? Yeah. Why is the shop with Guap? Because, like, when you first look at your IG, you see the music stuff, right? Yeah. But, like, you could also assume it's like, oh, yeah, this is like a, 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 a business page. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> What's the origin of the shop with Guap? Um, shower go up, man. It all came in because it's like, all right, you know, like, like basically, you know, I'm big with the cannabis thing. So it's okay. like, you know, it's like, come shop with me. So, <laughs> you know, I just start, you know, so while I'm doing my thing with the streets, with the, with the, you know, the cannabis and all that, I just started rapping and all that. And then, you know, I put it together. So it's just like, I just start rapping about what I do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So I'm just big on that. So you're big in the cannabis industry right now? Yeah. How's that going for you now that it's legal here? It's going in New York? good, man. You know, flavors, strands, new strands every time. You know, got new brands all the time. You feel me? Word. How long you been officially making music for now? Um, I've been making music quite a while, but you know, I just started taking it serious like three years ago. Okay. Yeah. So. What was the reason to start taking it serious? Because I was during the pandemic, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, like I said, like I got my money up and started doing what I really wanted to do. I started counting on other people, so. Mm. You know, I started really start focusing up. Do you, you know feel me? like before that you were kind of like on other people's time? With yeah, it? I mean, you know, counting on other people and all of that. You feel me? People let you down because it's not really them. It's like it's really your dream. So you know, you, you do what you want to do, and you get your own money. So you feel me? Mm. That's how it happened. So you were really motivated by like the whatever situation was going on before to just kind of like be like, all right, I'm about to do this shit, but I'm about to do it all on my own from now yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I always want to do it on my own, but I just ain't have enough money to do what I really want to do. Right. You feel me? So I to do it right to too. Yeah. So I think people I don't like realize, and you know, we talk. I feel like I talk about it a little bit on the show, but like people don't realize how much money like you really have to invest in yourself as an artist to just get shit moving off the ground too. Yeah, that's a fact. Oh yeah. Because of studio time, marketing budgets, promo runs, touring, oh. mm -hmm. features, the fits. <laughs> Videos, all of that. How much do you think you initially? Well, if, rough estimate. Like when you first started, how much did you initially invest in the music career? Like your first year. Well, my first year. Yeah. I don't know. Like I can't really, I can't really count it. I just know I spend a lot of money. <laughs> I'm in the studio every day, all night, every day, all through week. <laughs> so it's like I can't really even count. I know it's a lot though. I can't put no number on it. So you're originally from Fort Green? Yeah, I'm originally from Fort Green and Fabric in downtown. You know, it's two projects like across the street from each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, I just wound up moving to East New York. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just started expanding all throughout Brooklyn. But I'm originally from downtown. How long you been in Brooklyn now? All my life. Oh, all your life? Yeah. Okay, so the Fort Green. Well, okay, yeah. yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So when So what was like... You've been taking music seriously, right? But like, what was your first introduction for it? Because I, I know you took like a little break after you lost a friend of yours. Mm -hmm. Like, what was kind of going on before that? Did you had start like start earlier on? Um, before that, you know, I was rapping off and on whenever I could. It was just for like like for the fun of it. You know, we just rapping because we just had the time. It wasn't really nothing to do. But then it's like you know, when I lost my friend, I was going through stuff in the in the streets or whatever. Mm -hmm. I fell back, just put my focus in the streets, and then it's like now. Just now coming back. Mm. And you also like realize that that wasn't really moving, like helping you get out and do what you want to do and shit. Yeah, yeah. So what are your plans for 2023? Uh, man, I'm just trying to drop these EPs and shit. I mean, I got lined up and I got like two mixtapes lined up right now. I'm about to release. You feel me? Who's on the EPs with you? I know you got, they gave me a long <laughs> list of features. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the second one, I'm going to just do this one, Dolly. Okay. Like, I ain't really having too much features on it. I just probably got, um, shout out Mellow Major. I got him on the track. Um, I got Rowdy. I got Casamato. Shout out Casamato. So that's so far. I got Sosa Geek. I got Flea. I got Krimi. So they gonna probably be on the EP. Well, you got all the guys on the tape. Yeah, I got, I got a lot of songs with them right now. And when we get in the tape? Huh? When we get in it? Uh... Probably like 
end of February or something. I probably dropped this. I already got the music lined up. I just got to get it mixed down and stuff. Right. Do you feel like um, what for you like through this process being independent? What has been like the the most difficult part to get done? I mean, the different um difficult part is like really with the marketing. Really mm. like you know, like you're independent. It's like you gotta do everything on your own. It's like all your team, all your friends that that believe in you. Right. You know what I mean. Right. Or you just gotta just go out with that, like that. I mean, it's like sometimes people might think that you could get in there easy because you got the money and all that, but it's not always that. You don't want to spend your money on that stupid. Right. So it'll just be, I don't know, just keep going, the grind. I mean, the relations. Right. Everything shit. with the with the money shit is like trial and error, especially when you're independent. Mm-hmm. Because you don't really know exactly what the right way to do certain things are at first, and you throw your money in certain places, and it's like, okay, like I thought this is where this is gonna help the music, but it didn't. Yeah. And I gotta like take a step back and refocus to see like what actually is gonna help the music. Oh yeah, that's a fact. So the first EP comes in February. Uh huh. Second one is coming. Probably right right after that. Like I ain't even really trying to play around no more. Like it's just like I'm just releasing music. Releasing, 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 and dropping. You all get in there. Word. Well, I'm excited for that. And then the freestyle, by the time y'all seeing this, is out now. So go check that <laughs> out. Um, oh, also, like, I loved your appearance on uh, Gym State. Yeah, yeah, Super yeah. Super fire, man. Congrats on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good looking, good looking, man. Shout out Jimmy, too, man, for that one. I fuck with Jimmy. How did you and Jimmy first get uh, connected? Through the weed. Through the weed. <laughs> for me. Shout out, shout out Luca. Luca Brazi, he connected us. Jim Jones and all that. So, you know. He was just hitting me up for the weed. Mm. He seen that I was in the studio that I rap. And you know, we just built a relationship through that. I mean, this is what I mean. We pulled up to the studio. I a couple tracks and it's like, you know, I'll be around him kicking away from time to time. But you know, he be busy. You realize you're on a gangster girls tape, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was that's why I was a big shout out. I fuck with Jim Yard for that. Did it hit you yet? Yeah. Hell oh, yeah. Nah. Well, it hit me, but it's like, you feel me? Sometimes it's just like, you know, like, I still move I still move real humble, so it's like, it ain't really, not too much. Still be like, in and out the hood sometimes, or mm -hmm. whatever. That's it. I'm just trying to get it done. Mm-hmm. Trying to get it done. Well, congrats on everything, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know that. what I'm saying? Congrats on everything. I'm excited to see what you do today with the freestyle. All right. Very excited. Love the block work performance. I thought that was super tough. Yeah, good looking. Um, before we get out of here, uh, let the good people know where they can follow you at. Um, your IGs, all that good stuff. Now is the time to do it. This camera right here. Yo, um, yo, Guap, you got underscore. I mean, well, shout with Guap underscore still. You know, I got so many IGs, they done flagged them and all that. Right, I feel like I saw like five different shop with Guaps. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you yeah. feel me? It's like, it's so many fake ones and shit, but man, sh yo, I love my IG though, man. You know I'm there. There you go. Well, make sure you go follow him. Uh, go run up all the singles he has out now. New tape on the, well, two new tapes on the way, so make sure yeah. you go look out for those. Uh, make sure you go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Keep running up that freestyle. Till next time, Guapi on the radar. That's we out. It. Boom. Bye, guy. Uh -huh. Fire.